hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I am the nurse flipper if this is your first time here welcome thank you so much for joining me we are gonna do some research on necklaces instead of my my regular start low and get higher and higher today is necklaces that all sell right in the $500 range I think what we'll do is get lower and lower so I'm going to show you 30 necklaces that sold right at $500 right now. All right, so all of these are going to sell for around $500. Then in the following weeks we will do four three two and one hundred dollar videos because a lot of you have asked me for those that sell for lower price so this first one actually isn't overly impressive hey dalton is saying hello it's not overly impressive that's why i wanted to show it to you this one is a mexican silver hand pendant on a necklace this is a vintage hallmark mexican sterling tiger's eye large hand pendant necklace this one sold for a best offer on a 475 dollars asking price not again not overly impressive but that hand is really really big and the cool thing is it would lie close to over the heart this one here you can see up close it actually looks like it has different colors on it which is pretty cool and that tiger's eye cabochon in the middle and a great sale at almost five hundred dollars up next is a name that has popped up a few times in our research videos and it's definitely one to keep an eye out for i have sold scarves by this designer and they sell pretty good as well so this next one is by oscar de la renta this is an Oscar de la Renta vintage necklace, runway collar, red and gold. It is signed Oscar de la Renta. This one sold for a best offer on $479. Here you can see this necklace up close. Beautiful, beautiful red gemstones and very, very nice collar necklace. On the back, you can see it is stamped, made in the USA. And then here I did want to show you that tag. It does clearly say Oscar de la Renta. That signature is the same both on his uh, scarves and anything he makes. And that was a great sale on an offer at $479. All right, up next is a designer I had not heard of. And this one in the title, they did say it retails for $1,300. They sold it for around that $500 point. This one is by Ashley Pittman. This is a $1,350 rare Ashley Pittman AP Kenya Tanzu bronze leaf necklace. Very, very elaborate necklace here. This one sold for $475. Here you can see it laid out from the back. And it looks like pretty elaborate chain mail there with those leaves on them. And then here on the back, I did want to show you the chain with the tag that simply says AP, which stands for Ashley Pittman. And that was a great sale at $475. All right, up next is a name that has popped up intermittently over my research videos. And it surprised a lot of people when I first mentioned it. This next piece is by Joan Rivers. This is a Joan Rivers 1990s collectible 26 piece Fabergé egg and charm necklace sold for a best offer on $475. Here you can see that necklace laid out. So it is just a bunch of little Fabergé egg charms and here i wanted to show you up close there's also cute little ladybugs and butterflies and mushrooms and joan rivers is a name to watch out for her, her more rare pieces can sell for quite a bit and this was a great sale at 475 dollars 
up next is a designer that we have come across as well and that is Michael Negrin. This is a Michael Negrin fairy statement necklace. This one sold for $395. This one did come up because it was actually shipped from Denmark and shipping was close to $100 for that buyer and here it is up close really really pretty with the roses and the purple beads and flowers and, and here you can see it up close more super super pretty necklace and a great sale at almost four hundred dollars plus that buyer did pay shipping of a hundred dollars to the u.s up next as a designer i have never heard of and that is atwood and sawyer this one was another great sale i absolutely love jaguar pieces i actually sold a couple of the shoulder jaguar brooches in my last whatnot sale so this is a jaguar necklace this is an a and s again that is atwood and sawyer gilt and crystal leopard necklace it is the earrings and brooch set as well vintage from the 1980s this one sold for $450. I did want to show you it up close here. Gorgeous, gorgeous leopard necklace set. And that was a great sale at $450. Up next is a name I am familiar with, and that is Marcel Boucher. This is a very simple yet classic necklace, and it sold again for close to $500 this is a vintage very rare de orlan marcel boucher gold tone necklace they do say it's from 1970 this one sold for a best offer on 450 dollars here you can see it up close again very very classic gold tone necklace with the black and pink cabochon stones and then here on the back you can see it is clearly marked Boucher. It's very hard to read on this picture, but that was a great sale at $450. The last one was pretty simple, but this next one is actually very, very elaborate, and it is one by Alice Cavaness. This is a large vintage Alice Cavaness crossover rhinestone necklace. It is signed. This one sold for $497.25. Here you can see this one up close. Look at the bottom that hangs down on this necklace. Very, very elaborate piece. Beautiful, beautiful colors. And here on the back, you can see it is clearly marked Alice Cabaness. Up next is an H. Stern piece. This one would not have caught my eye. It, it, looks pretty simple it was signed and it sold for five hundred dollars this is an authentic h stern gemstone necklace pink frost crystal so the kicker with this one even though it doesn't look like much it did have 18 karat gold beads it also had amethyst this one sold for 499 dollars here you can see it laying out again not overly overly impressive looking but this was a great sale at five hundred dollars up next is a very very colorful one that i think looks pretty cool this is one by lawrence verba this is a lawrence verba women's beaded resin coil statement necklace red blue green and black sold for 499 dollars here you can see it up close beautiful beautiful intricate beads there and here is the tag as well you can see clearly marked lawrence verba so you would be able to identify this if you found it out in the wild and that was a great sale at 500 dollars this next one is probably one of my favorites it is a regency and it is a beautiful beautiful red gemstone necklace this is a regency verified dark siam red rhinestone bib necklace 
it does say Japan metal I'm not sure exactly what that means this one sold for a best offer on 500 here you can see this necklace is absolutely stunning beautiful beautiful red rhinestones and here on the back I wanted to show you this one is not marked Regency but the seller did verify it as a Regency piece and that was a great sale at 500 Next is a maker we all should know and that is Juliana and remember these pieces are not marked so you would need to identify them either from a book maybe a Juliana website something like that because there is no marking on them they had paper hang tags originally back in the day and this one sold for 500 but we had a ton of Juliana in my last research video, which were ones that sold for thousands of dollars. So keep in mind, not all pieces will go that high. This one is absolutely gorgeous. I think it, it undersold. I probably would have tried to get more. Let me show you it now. This is a Juliana Aquamarine rhinestone necklace bracelet and earring set they did accept a best offer on five hundred dollars and here you can see up close beautiful beautiful blues and greens in this one and i did want to show you a picture of the back so you can see some of that construction on that necklace and those are some of the telltale signs that you need to keep an eye out for a lot of them have a figure eight somewhere on the back so great great sale five hundred dollars again i think it could have sold for more let me know in the comments what you think if you think the seller should have got a higher price for that up next is a kendra scott absolutely beautiful amethyst necklace i love finding amethyst i love selling it and this piece brought five hundred dollars this is a kendra scott rare vintage amethyst harlow necklace they did accept a best offer on that 500 here i wanted to show you this is the symbol for kendra scott and i also wanted to show you this here with it hanging up in the light beautiful beautiful light purples on these and that was a great sale at 500 dollars up next is a maker you need to be aware of just in case you come across any of these they are known for their pearls and that is Mickey Moto this is an elegant ladies genuine Mickey Moto Akoya cultured pearl necklace graduated pearls this one was an auction got 26 bids and went to $500 here you can see them up close they did have that original Mickey Moda box these were made in Tokyo and I did want to show you here on the back they are marked with an M inside of a symbol so if you ever find a pearl necklace with this symbol make sure to pick it up if it's at a good price because that auction brought 26 bids and sold for $500. Up next is a beautiful Coro, a name again that comes up a lot. This is a beautiful green rhinestone heart necklace. This is a Coro Pegasus caged emerald heart pendant necklace sold for $500. Here you can see that necklace up close absolutely beautiful beautiful emerald green and here on the back you can see it is clearly marked with coro craft on the back and a great sale at five hundred dollars up next is one of my favorite things to find as well as to sell and that is zuni jewelry this next one is a zuni fetish necklace you can google what those are if you're not familiar they to sum them up are good luck symbols this next one has very very big animals they actually are frogs and this one sold for five hundred dollars this is a vintage zuni fetish necklace carved mother of pearl frogs and turquoise this was 33 inches sold for 495 dollars here you can see it up close so most of the zuni fetish necklaces include a lot of very small animals this one just has seven very large frogs and here you can see one of those frogs up close 
these are really really big pieces of carved mother of pearl they also have little inlaid turquoise and if you look on the left and right of this frog you can see there are also turquoise heshi beads and that was a great sale at 495 dollars up next is another Alice Cabanus. This is another classic, absolutely beautiful set. This is a vintage signed Alice Cabanus four tier necklace, bracelet, and clip on earrings. They did put full set, it sold for $500. Here it is up close beautiful beautiful layers on this necklace and here on the back of the earring you can see they were clearly marked alice cabaness and that was a great great sale up next is probably my favorite piece and this is one that was simply marked made in austria but it is very impressive this is an austria over the top purple rhinestone vintage collar necklace sold for a best offer on $499. Here you can see it up close. This is an absolutely gorgeous necklace with lighter purple all around the dark purple flowers. And here on the back, I wanted to show you it just says made in Austria. I find made in Austria pieces quite often. I've not found anything as impressive as this, but this was a great sale at $499. All right, I am going to interrupt the research really quick and remind you on Tuesday night, I will be live. I am live every Tuesday night with a reseller podcast answering your questions. It is at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and our guests this week are going to be Dagny Flying Pig Thrifts as well as Miss Kathy the Kitschy Cat. So make sure to bookmark that show. Come and join us every single Tuesday live at 8. If you have any questions about reselling that is the time to ask them and I also wanted to show you a few of my resin pieces. So we are not on Whatnot tonight but we are on Whatnot five nights a week selling jewelry as well as some of my resin stuff and I wanted to show you because I, I really like these pieces that I've just made and these will be available tomorrow night Monday at 8 30 p.m eastern time on whatnot all right so first I'm going to show you this little trinket bowl I made I wanted to show you look it does it does glow I could probably turn my I'm gonna turn my light off look at this so I made this little rose trinket bowl and I also made this look at this trinket box and they do glow with a black light or just a regular light so these two will be available as well as this gorgeous look at this dark purple glitter bowl that's in the same pattern as that first one but look at the color this will be available on Whatnot tomorrow evening, as well as sets of these cool coasters. Look at the little ladybug. I've got dried flowers, a little butterfly. I have a set of two and a set of four. So come see me on Whatnot. If you're not already there, I do have a coupon for $15 off of your first purchase. So I will put the link in the description and I will put it down in the comments for you as well. So let's go ahead and get back to the jewelry. Speaking of jewelry, I do, that is mainly what I sell and whatnot. I didn't show you any, but that is the main thing I sell over on whatnot. Dalton's moving closer. Dalton is moving closer. So up next is an absolutely gorgeous sterling silver artisan necklace. This is a sterling silver artisan amber roses. And they did put cat rescue because I think that is what they were sponsoring or raising money for this one sold for five hundred dollars here it is up close these are not really big roses but they are beautifully carved and here you can see that whole necklace kind of different chain links on that one beautiful beautiful artisan piece and a great sale at almost five hundred dollars up next is a designer I had not heard of, and that is William DeLillo. Let me know if you are familiar with him. This is a vintage William DeLillo Couture Coral Glass Bead Rhinestone Collar Necklace. They did put Runway. 
those beaded collar and bib runway necklaces sell very well this one sold for $495 here you can see it up close on a mannequin beautiful beautiful necklace and I did want to show you here on the back it is clearly stamped de Lillo and that was a great sale at $495 up next is a tiny tiny bull pendant that sold for $500 and that goes to show you really need to check out the makers if your jewelry is marked this one is by James Avery this is a vintage rare retired James Avery silver cow bullhead necklace pendant again this one's pretty small it sold for almost $500. Here you can see that bull up close. Nothing overly impressive, but when you turn it over, you can see it is clearly marked Avery Sterling. And this little bull brought almost $500. Up next is an absolutely beautiful antique gold filled piece. Keep your eye out for those antique pieces. They don't need to be precious metal to sell for good money. This is an antique Victorian gold filled book chain necklace. This was a pendant that is a locket from the 1890s. They did put it was in mint condition sold for a best offer on $4.95. Here you can see that piece up close has a floor de lis there in the middle. You can see the hinges on the side where it opens up. And I did want to show you here on the back, beautiful work on this. It is not marked and it's still sold for close to $500. Up next is a name we all know and that is Alfred Philippe. This next one is a Trafari. This is a vintage Trafari Alfred Philippe faux moonstones Claire de Lune crescent ruby necklace. This one sold for a best offer on $4.95. Here you can see this necklace up close. This one has pretty pretty faux moonstone moons there and it also has a dangled teardrop and on the back you can see it is clearly marked Trafari and that was a great sale at almost $500. Up next is another name that I know that you definitely should be on the lookout for and that is Hattie Carnegie. This is a signed Hattie Carnegie rhinestone waterfall mesh necklace and earring set. They did put vintage. It sold for a best offer on $495. Here you can see that necklace up close. Beautiful, beautiful waterfall of strands. And then on the back, I wanted to show you, it is clearly marked Hattie Carnegie, and that was a great sale at almost $500. Up next is one of my favorite designers. That is Miriam Haskell. She is in almost every jewelry video that I do. So if you don't know that name, remember it. It is a great, great seller. This is a Miriam Haskell vintage green bead glass pearl four strand necklace sold for a best offer on $499. Here you can see those strands up close. There are actually three tones of green and faux pearls. And here on the back, you can see it is clearly marked Miriam Haskell and a great sale at almost $500. Up next is a piece by Heidi Doss, another name you need to know. And I would also know the look of this necklace because no matter what designer it is, I feel like these bring pretty good money. This is a Heidi Doss Mythical Masterpiece Dragon Collar Necklace. Sold for a best offer on $4.99. Here you can see it up close. It is a dragon that wraps around your neck. Tons of crystals on this one. And that was a great sale at $500. Up next is a modernist necklace, which we don't see a ton of in these higher dollar this one's pretty cool. It is a sterling silver signed piece. Keep an eye out and always check for those signatures. 
this is a modernist rare vintage sign yukihiro shibata sea life 1985 necklace this one sold for $4.99.95. Here you can see it up close. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful artistry on this one. And then here on the clasp, I wanted to show you, it is clearly marked Yukihiro Shibata. So again, you would be able to look these up, research them, and find the value. And this one was a great, great sale at $500. All right, we are up to our top five. Even though all of these have been in that $500 price range, we're going to kick this off with something that is one of my favorite styles of jewelry, and that is a micro mosaic. This is a micro mosaic pendant, rose quartz, large necklace, Italy Grand Tour, sold for $499.99. Look at this up close, how small the pieces of micro mosaic glass and quartz are. So typically with these, the smaller the pieces and the more detailed the design, the more money they are worth. Here on the back, you can see this one is not marked at all and still sold for $500. So watch for micro mosaic jewelry they can make big money again smaller the stones more detailed the design the more money all right up next is another designer that i am not familiar with and that is philip ferrandis this is a gorgeous philip ferrandis paris necklace italian blown crystals and cabochons beautiful beautiful butterscotch color on this one sold for a best offer on $4.99 here you can see that necklace up close amazing swirls in those big cabochons and here on the back you can see it is clearly marked philip ferrandis paris that was a great sale at almost 500 dollars keep an eye out pretty much everything marked paris will have some value regardless of who the designer is and that was a great sale up next as a designer we have seen a lot keep an eye out for her she was coco chanel's number one rival and that is elsa scaparelli this is a rare elsa scaparelli vintage perure necklace bracelet and earring set sold for a best offer on five hundred dollars here on the back of the earrings you can see it is clearly marked sky pirelli and here again is that set up close beautiful green cabochons and it was a necklace earring and bracelet set and a great sale at five hundred dollars all right, up next is a name I recently have become accustomed with, and that is John Hardy. I actually have sold three or four John Hardy brooches over on Whatnot this past week. This next one is a necklace that sold for 500. This is a John Hardy Legends Naga Pendant Necklace, sold for $4.99.99. I wanted to show you here the 3D effect in this awesome, awesome dragon. And here it is again hanging. Now on that bail, it is clearly marked JH925. So that is the symbol for John Hardy. And that was a great sale at almost $500. All right, last is a signer B set. This is absolutely amazing. And this is probably the third of my favorite. So I told you which three were my favorite. Let me know down in the comments what your favorites were. Make sure you check out the playlist. I have a whole playlist full of videos that are nothing but ones just like you just watched that are research of top dollar selling items. There are teacups, there are necklaces, there are brooches, there are linens, there are coffee mugs. There is a lot of different items in that playlist. So check that out. Subscribe to me if you have not. Hit that thumbs up. Let's take a look at the last item for $500 this is a unique original signer rhinestone b necklace earrings and brooch 
sold for $499. Here you can see it up close. I absolutely, I love bees. So this is such a cool set. Necklace, earrings, and brooch. And here on the back, I did want to show you these are all clearly marked signer. So you would easily be able to identify them. And a great sale at $500. I hope you enjoyed this video. My voice is kind of hoarse if you did not hear. If it drove you crazy, I'm sorry. Um, it, it hopefully will be better soon before my whatnot sale tomorrow night. I appreciate you watching. Thanks for hanging out with me on this Sunday. I look forward to seeing you either tomorrow night at 8.30 on whatnot or 8 p.m. here on my Nurse Flipper channel for my live podcast. Also, don't forget to go check out my catch treasure hunting video. My last thrifting trip, I found some amazing, amazing things. So go check out catch treasure hunting. We will see you on the next one. Bye. Bye, guys.